Are y'all crooked? Y'all gotta be crooked. I can't tell. I'm so sorry if y'all are crooked. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Vegan with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly. Today we're making the vegan loaded potato soup. Let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to use my kasari. Again, you can use the stove top. I just like using this because it's a one-stop shop, okay? I'm going to put this on saute. Now usually you would go ahead and fry your bacon. I'm not using um, fryable bacon, so we're just going to put a little bit of avocado oil into the pot. And I'm going to put a little bit of our liquid smoke into the bottom. Like boom, just like that. I'm going to do an eighth a cup of chopped garlic. Chop yours finer than this, y'all. I just, you know, it's me. Also going to put in a fourth a cup of onions. I'm just going to use two eighth a cups. I am team don't wash too many dishes, okay? Boom. All right, the pan is sizzling, so let's start this on around here, y'all. We don't want anything to burn. Let me bring y'all closer. Y'all are way too far away. I'm gonna add in another eighth a cup of butter. Actually, let's do a fourth a cup. Y'all don't ask me why I grabbed this. Why? What? Ugh, this video. I'm sticking beside it. We're gonna do an eighth a cup of flour. Let's whisk that in first before we add any more. We're making our roux. Ooh, this smells good. Definitely, definitely smells good. All right, that is all pretty fast. Let's add in one more eighth of a cup. So a fourth of a cup of flour. I'm going to try out these not chicken bouillon cubes. Let me focus it for you guys. Boom. Going in with a cup of milk. This is a half a cup, but let's make it into a cup of milk. Trying to dissolve this cube in here. Now I'm going to add in a cup of water. And whisk that in as well. Now I'm going to toss in some onion and garlic powder. Just a little razzle dazzle. I'm going around the pan. Remember, you can never have too much seasoning, only too much salt, okay? Same thing with garlic. We're in there. Boom. I have an actual whisk, y'all, so I was just being lazy. Here we go. Let's whisk that on in there. This is optional, but I'm going to sprinkle in a little Italian seasoning. Boom. Okay. Alright, this is two Idaho potatoes that I cut up earlier today, y'all. We're going to add these to the pot, and then from there we're going to season and add more liquid as needed. These are still pretty firm. We want to let the soup kind of cook them down, okay? Alright, I am going to cut the kasari off now, you guys. Cover and let this cook on residual heat. If you're cooking on an actual stove, put it on low for about five minutes, alright? We'll be back. Alrighty, we are back. Boom. Check on our potatoes. They should have definitely softened by now. I'm definitely going to add some more milk. So I'm going to put this back on boil. I'm actually going to also give it a little taste. I don't mind these chunks. I don't like soupy soup. But all you got to use is your immersion blender, y'all, to get this super smooth if you would like. I'll put an immersion blender on the screen. Look at this. Cabinet open on the bottom. Jesus. So I'm going to put this actually on boil. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and some pepper and give this a taste. Okay. Oh. That's so good. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. That is delicious. Let's add another cup of milk. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I did that. We didn't even add the bacon and cheese in yet. All right, two cups of milk. Okay. I already had this in my fridge, y'all, so we're going to use Daya. Cutting board series, though. Cutting board series. Let's do whatever's in here. So that's a half a cup. Boom. All right, so that's about, what, a, cup, a half a cup and a fourth, I would say. Going in. 
All right, guys, I'll be back once this comes to a boil, and then we'll re-season again. So I'm pretty sure it needs some more salt, pepper, maybe a little bit more garlic and onion. Welcome back from commercial break, guys. <laughs> it is boiling. All right, now we really got some soup soup on our hands. Now, before we re-season, let's go ahead and add in some of our sour cream that is not in focus. Amen. Bow. There we are. I'm going to do a fourth a cup. Boom. This is going to make it super creamy, and hopefully it tastes good. You know, vegan sour cream, y'all, it's, 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 it's taking a risk. Let's be clear. But let's be clear about it. Now, some of these potatoes are too big a chunk. We don't need no, you know, we don't need no choking hazard. I'm going to add in more pepper, some more Italian seasoning, some more salt, and of course more garlic and onion. Give that another stir. Usually at any store you can get some bacon bits as um, long as it's imitation you are good these do of course though contain soy so I'm gonna put a couple in here and then I'm gonna reserve the rest for garnish we'll go ahead and cut this off this is done baby this soup is done it's delicious I should have been made it what was I thinking who knows <laughs> alrighty oh I'm so excited oh we're just gonna take some of our soup and ladle this on in here oh you talking about great for the fall Again, some of my pieces are really big, y'all. I'm so sorry I'm being lazy. I should have used an immersion blender. So, boom. I have more cheese. Again, there's no rhyme or reason to what cheese I'm using. It's just what was in my fridge, okay? that That's that's really it. I believe this is the same cheese from the last video, okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to put some of that. Boom, there. I would prefer chives, but I have green onion aka scallions uh, so I'm gonna cut some of that in there but I, I me Aaron would prefer some chives just a literal dollop of not daisy this is our vegan sour cream from earlier just a little bit there you know I'm not the biggest fan of we make that a little prettier that that didn't do anything all right that's fine though and of course we're gonna top with more bacon bits or whatever your favorite vegan substitute is all right y'all there you go let me bring it in closer even though it's hot i'm gonna burn my hand for y'all there is our loaded potato soup oh yes all right y'all i am super super ready to eat by the way don't think this is a design i can't get anything to stick to these walls i'm still trying to figure out i asked my rv group everybody's saying different answers so but command hooks are not working um alien tape did not work um yeah things are not sticking they're falling down but anyway i'm sweating it's hot in here especially when you cook it's actually cool outside but anyway y'all are ready for me to eat i'm so sorry all right here we go y'all it's so good i'm not even i mean i made it but that is legit so good it's comforting now i just want some red wine which i do have <laughs> To go with my meal. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Let me try this sour cream, y'all. Let's be honest. I don't taste it inside, but let's see if it's a good topper. I don't taste it. Oh. I mean, by itself, but it's fine as a topper as long as you have it with the rest of the soup. But y'all know, yeah, vegan sour cream, honey. But it's good. Mmm. Okay. Before I start cleaning up, let's go take some inside to my mom. She's still up. I see the light on. <sighs> Fingers crossed, y'all. You know those um, vegan, they they not really vegan bacon bits, but you know, the imitation, imitation bacon bits, sour cream. Um, I got onions in mine. I topped it with, uh, you know, the green onions you gave me. Oh, because you put a lot of pepper. I know you're talking about spice. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I'll put you some more in there in case you want some tomorrow. Add the pepper to it. <laughs> I love Disneyland and Disney California Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it was mother approved. You know, she does. she's not gonna say, oh yeah, that's good. I gotta, I will eat that. Also, I don't know if you guys heard, but she said she wanted more spice. Now y'all see where I get it from. I forgot my mom is queen of pepper. She, she's not really a hot sauce girl, but pepper. I grew up eating a lot of soup with a lot of pepper. My friends would come over and be like, what is this spice? And I'm like, what y'all talking about? It's seasoned. Not knowing that I just was raised off of a, a lot of pepper, y'all. So I'm super, super excited. Yay! Make this. Cut up your potatoes better, though. Cut cut up your potatoes. Wait, I mean, the chunks are ridiculous size. Um, just cut them into a smaller size. But this is a success. Great for the fall. I know I'm sweating, so it seems like summer. But y'all know where I live. It's a trailer. I do not have a fan on because it's actually cool outside. It's just hot in here when you cook. So, all right. I'm out. Let me package this up for lunch. Pack some for my mom. She wants some. I'm just, y'all don't know. Ah, all right, y'all. Bye. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.